good morning everybody. Well I made it to Oldham. <coughs> Excuse me. And uh, let me just walk around this way. We're at a site. This is Westwood in Oldham. That's the anchor mill up there. I think it's been adapted into office space now. Many years ago. God, someone's cooking. It smells divine. Mm. Um, anyway, we're at Widdup Street. We've got Widdup Street, which is a row of terraced houses. Been up well over 100 years. And then just down here, we've got Colwyn Street. So many years ago, Westwood was um, not as built up as it as it is now. Uh, look, you can see the uh, Civic there in the distance. Can you see it? From a slightly different angle than you'd see it from the road. But yeah, so this particular area in Westwood stood a beautiful, beautiful manor house. And it was the uh, ancestral home to the Duncuff family. So John Duncuff, um, MP of Oldham. I think the family, I think the business was solicitors, you know, law. And again, there's the Civic again. It'll be gone soon, that everybody. They're going to be knocking that down as soon as they move everyone into the uh, into Spindles. So Colwyn Street and Widdup Street was the site for this beautiful, beautiful house. And where Colwyn finishes here, all of this, well, actually, I think the house was on Widdup, around about there, but then this was all greenery and there was a beautiful old wall that went all the way up. But yeah, we're going to have a look round. Being spied on. Don't be a spy, Dan. So, I think we'll get in the car because I want to go around the other side. Um, I want to show you uh, this beautiful old building. I think it's been repurposed now as like a thing. I don't know if it's like a, a mosque or some form of Islamic centre. But it's a beautiful building. So, we're going to go and visit that. Uh, and there's quite a lot of names that are detailed in the front. So, let's crack on. Right everyone, I've just pulled up, I'm parked here on this car park and I've just seen the most ugliest, disgusting, vile, fat rat you've ever seen in your entire life. Um, but I just noticed that Furswood Church is open. So, we're going to open the door and have a peek in. When this church was originally built, it cost £4,000 to build it. Weekly Bible Studies, House Fellowship Midweek. Yeah, it cost £4,000 to build it. Quite a popular church. I don't know if the service has started. I'm not going in because there's kids playing about. But we're not here to see the... Take two. Um, I had a look in and they've got a service going on. It was very uh, musical. I think I'll come back another time when there's not a service. Anyway, I want to get round this corner because I want to show you this beautiful building. I think it's called the Moravian School. So I'll have to find out what it's all about, but uh, that's in the brickwork. As I said, I think it's used as some sort of Islamic centre now. Uh, we'll find out. But um, it's just here. Let's get round here. Look at the beautiful, I don't know if you can see that everybody. Beautiful brick uh, bricks. Oh, no wonder there's rat boxes every full of rats round here, everyone. Well I'm saying that now because I've seen one. <laughs> but then I saw one outside my house the other week, so they're everywhere, aren't they? So yeah, look at it, right? I've never noticed this before. There's like a beautiful sculpture on the side with some sort of scripture underneath but what I wanted to show you was this now this stone this stone was laid by Bishop C.E. Sutcliffe in memory of the Reverend Flatrobe April the 7th 1906 this one was also laid by T.S. Haig, Esquire, J.P. I bet you I can tell you who these people are. Um, fortunately, this one's 
worn away so you can't actually read that unfortunately. There we go. So this stone was laid by Councillor Kempsey, Esquire JP. Now I'm telling you something, um, a friend of mine, Dave, who I met through the channel, very, very kindly, I've mentioned it before, he gave me a beautiful book which was printed in 1902 I think, but this stone was laid by R. Lambert Esquire in memory of his grandfather and his uncle Levi Lambert, April 7th 1906. So I don't know what the, Rav the Moravian school was, but look at that beautiful stone there, AD 1906. I don't think it is a, a Islamic centre, it's CMT textiles. <laughs> I don't know why I thought that. Um, but yeah, a beautiful, beautiful building. I'll definitely do some digging, everyone, and find out what that's all about. Should we? Let's get down here. This, by the way, here, this is the old Platt Works. Hartford Works. And I've shown it on another video at the top there. You can still see the Platt's name in the wall. It's in the brick. Right, we're going to go to the site of Eclipse Motorco. So I mentioned in a previous video, the Rothwells of Oldham manufactured cars in Oldham in the early 1900s. So I found out where it was. There's a school there now, but we're going to go and have a look. See if there's any telltale signs of any old workplaces. Right, everybody, we've come up to Coldhurst. So we're on Kirkham Street. Big old sign there. I don't know what street this is called. Oh, Grange. Grange Street. Anyhow, um, here, where this academy is now, Northmore Academy, is where Eclipse Motors used to be. So Eclipse Motors, I think they started off making sewing machines and then or eclipse sewing machines and then they started um they started making uh, bikes motorbikes um and then after the motorbikes uh they made the first car now if you're interested the car or one of the cars that they manufactured and one of the motorbikes is on just permanent display at oldham library the new library not the not the beautiful old one the new one I don't know how many people worked here, but it, I'll put a picture in for you. It was a massive, massive um, workshop where they churn these, uh, where, where they churn these uh, beautiful vehicles out. You really need to go and see it. If you're in Oldham and you're interested, you definitely need to go and see it because it's really interesting. And it's split mint as well. Right, we're going to go to... We're going to go somewhere in Oldham. Um... I want to show you, we're going to go to Din's, Din's Textiles and we'll tell you what it was many years back and who lived there. Right everybody, we're down in Mumps. I think I'm going to go to Lee's Cemetery after here because I want to have a look around it. I've been to the churchyard up there before, but I want to, uh, I want to go to the cemetery up there, that beautiful bank. All here, you know everybody, coming right down here with businesses. There was, um, I think it was up, it was actually up in the 90s. There used to be a carpet place just here at the side of the bank. There's a grade one listed building, that bank. It's being left to rack and ruin. Such a shame. Anyway, we're here to look at this building. This is number two, Walshaw Place. And back in 1902, lived a man called James Proctor. He was a draper. Um, interestingly enough, the place is still used for textiles now. And I really like this building because I love these old signs. Look, night inquiries. Oh, look. That's going Didsbury. Yeah, you've got night inquiries up here, look. And then you've got the night bell. I really like it. Ah, it looks like you might be able to see in. No, it's a wood, it's a solid door. But yeah, so James, um, James was a draper and he had his business here and he actually lived here as well. Um, and I mentioned it before when I was outside the building, but you know I like veer off on things. Um, but, uh, the book that was given to me uh, by my lovely friend, 
um, he, look at them beautiful windows everybody, I just noticed them, they're original, sash windows, absolutely beautiful. Anyway, this book, it was printed in 1902 I think, and um, I use it as a reference sometimes for some of the people, but also it's confirmed a lot of what I've actually uncovered myself over the years. But anyway, many, many people in Oldham funded this book. So if it wasn't for Mr. Proctor who used to trade from here, maybe it wouldn't have got printed, I don't know. Um, he died incidentally, leaving £99,000. Now that was a lot of money. It's a lot of money now, and it was a tremendous amount of money back then. So yeah, I think we're gonna go to Lee's Cemetery. I'm going to meet in Lou at one. We're gonna have some dinner. So I'm gonna go and spend some time at cemetery and see what we can find. Let's go there. Oh, by the way, everyone, do you remember when all the bus, bus stops were here? There's still one at the top for a lighting, I think they call it, don't they? But yeah, it looks like they've shortened the road as well. Oh, sorry, widened the road because I'm sure there was more space to walk in front of the, um, the bus stops back in the day. Well, come on, let's get going.